Hey everybody, welcome to Talk Daily. Today we're going to be talking about a subject that hurts, and that is the price of gas. Uh, uh, I mean, I know I'm singing to the choir here, but uh, if you're not aware of, um, in Los Angeles, in Cali, gas prices are, I don't want to say the most expensive in the world, but truly are fantastically expensive regard you know as it compares it to the rest of the country i think we have the most sort you know offset of prices i would like to say if i'm not if no i'm making a mistake always correct me in the comments below but i uh oh boy man i mean seven dollar a gallon dollar this us dollar okay not not it's the dollar the dollar seems the dollar doesn't have as much value as i think it has anyway this article comes from garden driver and written by sebastian blanco and as always i will have a link to this article in the description below and he much goes on saying that the gas price is here for dollar and gallon average for the first time since 2008 i don't know where you at buddy but in la i mean he's showing you 577 that's cheap we got the seven dollar premium man I mean, what's going on? It's geopolitical tensions. I I don't know. COVID nineteen. You, you want to throw everything at it? Throw everything at it. Whatever. What you got? L, what, what's the next? In some cities, including Los Angeles, San Francisco, average gas prices hit five dollar for regular fuel. The photo above was taken in Alhambra, California. Alhambra, on March Quattro, and there are even some stations selling premium for over seven dollar a gallon. And that's what I'm talking about. Make it ten. Make it twenty. Make it 20, make a 40. You know, man, shoot. I, I don't want to tell you. I, the answer to all of this, buy your comfort. Hey, hey, you know, the system we're in, that's the system, you know. It's capitalism. Purchase your comfort. Uh, they go on talking about some, uh, the president having a state of union and, and it doesn't mean anything. Uh, the news everybody already seems to know is that gas prices are heading up and I understand that's some very smart people sitting down trying to do a strategic way of how do we lower gas prices. And I'm just giving you the answer. Just buy your comfort. And if you can't buy it, work more. And that's it. And as far as uh, uh, what we call common sense and uh, I, I don't know. I mean, they're trying to pick in on straws as far as saying, oh, we're going to be releasing reserves. And uh, they're talking about uh, oh, the war in Ukraine is affecting us. Uh, State of Union speech regarding we are releasing, I don't know, 60 million barrel of oil from strategic reserve. I think the answer to all this would be this, um, buy an electric car, which is not cheap. Uh, that's it. Sorry. Buy your comfort. I, I, I'm sorry. I know everybody's working, people are working, especially in America. We're working like over how many hours a week? Our average is 50. Uh, we don't have a lot of... We don't have a lot of breaks, you know, we don't take a lot of, you don't have a lot of holidays like Europe, for example, etc. So I understand it's hard, it's taxing on the people, but I, there's really no answer. If you, we did, we don't live in a socialist country. I mean, they give you the prices here. You just stare right and you pay. I mean, those people in Hamra, they're parking and paying. What are you going to do? What are you going to say? You're going to give them the finger and walk? Go ahead. You can walk. So to me, uh, just get with the program, get with the program. And uh, I think the solution to all this, well, not the solution. Part of the problem is obviously... Yeah. the fact that gas is not controlled by the government if gas is controlled by the government then the government will set a price and we get to go but it's not it's privately owned so again capitalism capitalism so capitalism dictate that hey i want to raise the price i raise the price i get scared i'd raise the price whatever who cares just raise the price um they're really, you know, they're talking about mean, meanwhile, AAA, which uses its own methodology, methodology to determine the average gas price. Again, I don't know what I said, the moon. Calculating that the average on Saturday was 3.92222. And now we went up to 4.1114. Nonsense. Uh, according to Gas Buddy, direct, it's, it's funny how a lot of people make a living just predicting gas prices. Or it's completely the, the bottom line of all this is just corporations and shareholders and that's it shareholders goes ooh, 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 i'm scared i want to get my money back okay cool let's raise prices that's it it's not like oh today's oil is not compatible no yes there is different blends of oil that requires a refinery to switch yes yes there is covid some people were sick weren't able to be available what it has to do with gas prices nothing nothing all it is is simply saying no i don't have enough workers so i don't have as much oil so i'm gonna raise the price but people still buy it 
So you still have to make it. It's not like I never once in Cali, I went to a gas station and have oil or oh, gas, gasoline, excuse me. Um, I have it. So it's not like the product, it's not like people are using it less. Yeah, at some point in COVID, people are just staying at home, but that was just a short period of time. But people are driving. You got other people are driving. Everybody's going everywhere. People are buying cars like they're cheap, right? People going in the off roading vehicle like gases, chips. So when I read this, what pissed me off is because people like me who are poor, we look at this and we're like, whatever, we're used to it. Just go work more, right? You know, until until we get wealthy, we look at it as, okay, what are you going to do? Right? So it's really unfortunate. I think the answer to all this is that if actually, if this was something that's controlled by the government, you know, but I, I don't know. I don't think in a communist, in a, uh, I was going to say communist. <laughs> uh, I don't think in a capitalistic uh, uh, market system, uh, the government owning energy would be uh, something that would be constitutional or um, let me know what you, if you're if you uh, constitutional law you don't know what you understand how this works let us know because uh, as long as British Petroleum and all these other companies private privately owned they can do whatever they want I don't know what Biden is talking about President Biden mentioning we're going to release um, again uh, the price going up is not hindering people from not buying it it's just spending they're just taking money from someone else and giving it to the oil you know, giving it to fuel and they're taking money away. I don't know for maybe buying a, I don't know, video games or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, uh, to me, that, those numbers mean nothing. When I go to the gas station, just fill up. It means nothing. Uh, I will reduce my expenses on something else because again, we have no control over it. And when I give you a story about it, just go ahead. What am I going to say to you? No, you're not making sense. So Anyways, sorry, yeah, I mean, uh, this article is cute and it's nice and it gives you a nice little breakdown. I don't know why West Coast, for more expensive than the East Coast, winter blend, whatever brand. But I mean, 431, I don't know what you're finding that gas for 431, dude. Not in Los Angeles. Uh, again, Los Angeles, we have good weather. So we look at the East Coast, they have storms and whatnot. And life is expensive there because it's just, you know, environment. So we're very lucky where we at. And that's why I think to myself, you know, whenever I wake up, I look at the beautiful sky. I'm like, I'm, I'm blessed. I look at the gas. Here you go. Take your gas. It's not like I'm driving a car that's dumping fuel. You know I mean? I'm not driving a car that gives me uh, seven miles to the gallon or something stupid like that. You know, 12, you know, I'm driving a car reasonable. It gives me 30. So it's okay. It's not, it's all right. So, um, through all the stock, it'll be all right. And if you're feeling, I, I think, but the only thing that's going to be definitely a, an issue will be how everything else reacts to it, you know, because it's energy, right? So, the, you know, everything from whatever you, your refrigerator, the food in your fridge to the things you purchase, everything is going to go up. So uh, for now, man, just work hard. Save. I don't know about saving, but just work hard, man. Buy your comfort. That's all I can think of because... Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I'm waiting to see what the breaking point of people are because I I'm thrifty with my money. I'm thrifty. I um, you know I really don't spend beyond my means. I I don't buy new cars. I, I'll talk about them all the time, but to me it's just like it's a waste of money. I don't um, yeah I don't buy new things. I truly don't. I I I'm I'm, I'm kind of contempt with what I'm at. So um, uh, I spend money on food, of course, and um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I to be honest with you, I'm not I'm not an example for you to live by whatsoever. I'm just saying that I am, you know, I know a lot of friends. I know a lot of people who are, you look at them and you're like, mm -hmm. good luck keeping up the life, life, uh, life uh, style. But again, uh, I don't know if you don't, if, if you have an answer to why this stuff goes up beyond that, uh, yeah, now Ukraine, you know, put in all the words, literally why gas why fuel oil companies are not controlled by it because to me that's too important right uh i'm surprised i don't have a um regu regulation but again i think i'm just answering my own question capitalism so anyways um i don't know i think i think that's kind of interesting to mention because again i live in la so i truly feel it yeah i've seen a seven dollar a gallon and um I just make sure I don't run out of gas next to that station. But really, the difference—the difference between five fifty and seven. 
again, I mean, you look at it at the end, you're like, oh, I say five bucks. It's expensive, dude. Gas is expensive. Just get used to it. So I think what I've done as a conclusion for this video to give you the light, the bright thing at the end of this video would be this. The dollar is not a dollar anymore. I look at five bucks as just a dollar. And everything will be fine. Five bucks is a, a dollar. You buy burgers, a buck. That's it. Just do that transition and you're good. You know, and that's it. You go with that. <laughs> that's it. It's just inflation. It is what it is. Um, it's just what happens when you're old. If you're young and you look at that price, you probably don't know any better. And that's how much it costs. So, hey. Um, will everything be all right? Yes. Will gas prices go down? No. And But everything will be all right. You know, we'll make more money. And so we can buy our comfort and move on forward our life. So, um Okay, this has just been a little inside of Betty's brain and a little rant. But uh, uh, I don't know if this strike accords with you or you uh, um, you agree with me or do you disagree with me. Or do you think this is something that's because of a person, a human being, a, a company, a group caused this? Let us know if you have a better answer than Ukraine, President, Blend, those... I've, Dude, bro, I almost feel like they look for any excuse. Oh, today, the, no, there's a black crow flew over my head. It, oh, we're raising gas prices. Yeah, uh, no, 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 I don't feel good about this. We're raising gas prices. Hey, what? There was a tsunami in, what? Raising gas prices. Oh, we're not going to get the, the world's fluid. There's always something happening somewhere. Really? We're that fragile? But anyways, dead ends. Oh, look, the Gulf Coast because they make oil. I don't know why it's cheaper. $3.31. Sheesh. Y'all got it good in Texas, Alabama. You guys got it good. You guys got it good. Good for you guys. Even the Rocky Mountain are doing good. Man. It's the West Coast, man. Hey, the hand on the West Coast, man, because I got that good weather. That's why. I feel bad for Alaska. Hawaii, I understand by Alaska? Come on, man. Y'all rough on Alaska. 431. That's kind of hard a little bit. It's not like shit. I feel bad for Alaska. Excuse me. I feel bad. I, I don't think. Hawaii, I understand. You got to ship the fuel. But Alaska, don't have a lot of oil in Alaska. Alaska should be like Texas. Well, uh, whatever. Cold environment, special blend, whatever. Midwest is freezing. Anyways, I don't want you guys. I'm just saying. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. At least we have the weather. I just the only excuse I use. We have sunshine. So sunshine tax. Florida, you got sunshine. We got tornadoes. Hawaii, you're in the middle of nowhere, so it's understandable. Well, not the Pacific, but anyways. Um, anyway, I hope you guys just uh, everybody uh, is okay, and this will be fine. Let's just divert more money toward this, fill up the gas, and get get going with your life. Um, you know, just work harder, get that education, get the little overtime, um, manage your finances a little bit, and you know, squeeze your belt a little bit. You know, it'll be okay. Um, and hopefully all of us will make more money so we can buy our comfort and we'll be more comfortable. Uh, anyway, as always, thank you for watching. It's been a weird video, but, you know, I'll try to put in like a little variety video talking about subject. And always uh, put comments below. I always read them and I appreciate it uh, when you guys correct me or uh, you give me your uh, uh, point of view. I appreciate it. Uh, share it with everybody. So as always, take care and have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.